Remove the protective cover from the base. Then remove the pipe plug on the plug body. Install the adapter at the previous pipe plug position. Note that the hexagons on the adapter are aligned with the hexagons on the plug body, and the lock is locked. The orange button is the fully open indicator rod, which proves that the plate valve is now open. Install the hammer nut and service valve on the base and lock them tightly. The anti-retreat rod is inserted into the plate valve. Install the retriever on the service valve and lock it tight. Lower the plug lifter to the lowest position. Turn the transmission shaft on the plug drive assembly to the right. The medium in the pipe flows into the cavity. Note that you should press down the external plug lifter at this time. When the retriever is pressurized to be similar to the pressure inside the pipe. Continue to rotating the transmission shaft on the plug drive assembly and try to lift the plug lifter upward during rotation. If you cannot lift it up, continue to rotate the transmission shaft until the plug lifter can be easily lifted. Lift the plug lifter to the highest point and lock the stop lock. Close the service valve. Tighten the plate valve screw. Fine-tune the plate valve screw in the opposite direction so that the plane on the plate valve screw that is closest to the axis is perpendicular to the axis otherwise, irreparable failure will be caused to the equipment. Close the bypass valve. Open the bleed valve. Open the top screw until the cavity is completely drained. And then screw back in. Disassemble the retriever. Remove the adapter from the plug body. The disassembly is complete. Install the adapter in the original pipe plug position. Make sure the hexagon on the adapter is aligned with the hexagon on the plug body and then lock them tightly. Install it on the retriever. Install the retriever on the service valve and lock it. Close the bleed valve. Open the bypass valve. Bypass valve screw should be completely screwed out. After making the pressure in the chamber equal to the pressure in the pipe. Open the service valve. Tighten the plate valve screw. Fine-tune the plate valve screw in the opposite direction, so that the plane on the plate valve screw that is closest to the axis is perpendicular to the axis otherwise, irreparable failure will be caused to the equipment. Lower the plug lifter to the lowest position. Turn the transmission shaft on the plug drive assembly to the left. 
Note that you should press down the external plug lifter at this time. Until the plug lifter can be easily lifted lift the plug lifter to the highest point and lock the stop block. Open the bleed valve. Open the top screw until the cavity is completely drained. And then screw back in. Close the bleed valve. Disassemble the retriever. Remove the hammer nut and the service valve from the base. Remove the adapter from the plug body. Install the pipe plug onto the plug body and lock it. Mount the protective cover onto the base. The installation is complete.